So the calibration gap is a concept that looks at a clinician's perceived diagnostic accuracy versus their actual diagnostic accuracy. And when we think about how many patients may present to an emergency department in a given year versus thinking about the the number of patients that we actually get feedback about, about and hear about, the clinician may only hear about one of those in 10 years. Their perception of how well they're doing uh, related to uh, diagnosis is gonna be very different than the reality. The goal of uh, giving feedback is to try to, to narrow that calibration gap. So we focused on taking an existing feedback dashboard, adding in uh, patient-directed feedback uh, related to the patient's diagnosis for individual clinicians as well as medical directors. When we were developing the patient uh, feedback surveys, uh, we did partner uh, with a number of patient advocates um, and, uh, and they helped us to develop those initial patient feedback questions so that it was Un, as understandable as possible, both from the patient perspective when they're answering the questions uh, and uh, so that it would derive answers that could be most useful to the clinician. So we focused on three questions related to whether the patient understood the explanation of their health problem, whether they had an unexpected change in their health after they were discharged, uh, and whether or not they understood the follow-up plan related to their diagnosis. And these were felt to be um, the most relevant questions uh, for clinicians to get feedback on. Because one, if a patient doesn't understand the explanation of the diagnosis, then making the diagnosis may not be relevant. If they don't understand what the follow-up plan is, then the ability to act on the diagnosis is going to be limited. And then, and then understanding if they had an unexpected change in their health is really driving at, was there potentially a misdiagnosis? The patient feedback was um, found to be one of the more useful of the parameters. The fact that the clinicians found the patient feedback to be uh, one of the more helpful parameters, I think speaks to the fact that we have a lot of opportunity in how we explain uh, things to patients, um, how we explain diagnosis to patients, how we explain follow-up to patients, uh, so that we can really try to make their diagnostic experience um, as, as good as possible. Next steps will be to um, try to use AI to further uh, hone in on the most relevant um, cases related to diagnostic accuracy uh, based on the existing dashboard.